TV star From Philadelphia to Hollywood Boulevard This ain't no music video Oh, 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 take my hand, we'll go Yay! Okay, we're back. I don't think I've ever met a man who wore more hats, nightlife ingenue and New York party king, artist, actor, performer, businessman, Tommy Hilfiger underwear model, and even spokesperson and advocate for Tourette's Syndrome Association. My special guest in the studio tonight does it all. Starring in three upcoming feature films, 2009 might just be his breakout year for this busy guy. Take a look. Randy Richardson was a successful Hollywood director with a gift for making successful films. Until the day when Randy Richardson became too big for Randy Richardson. And then it all went downhill. Irving, did you know about this? I've known for quite some time, sir. But this summer, Hollywood's most eccentric director is getting one last shot to prove himself. I'm thrilled he came down from New York, and I'm happy to call him my good friend. You're in bed with Butch and Keith Collins. Hey, <laughs> Keith, how you doing, what's Butch? Up? How you doing? Great, man. Thanks for having me, everybody. Finally, right? Yeah, How I many know. years are you been, yeah, been couple, At least at least three, four years. I know. Maybe, oh I say. my God, I know. Crazy. Okay. Um, all right. So, Keith, the clip that we just saw was uh, from a film that you uh, were in, or are in, or I don't know if you're filming. Uh, starring in a post production. Yeah, it's called The Gentleman. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, briefly, like, tell me what that movie is all about. That movie, it's basically it's a comedy. It's a spoof on Hollywood. Right, uh, right. Great, 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 funny film. They got yeah. distributions going on DVD. It's going to be out in they're saying spring of '09. Okay. Uh, I play one of the lead characters. I play Steve Reynolds, right. who's this A-list Hollywood agent who. Uh, Basically, has a wandering eye for the ladies and right, right. Uh, gets himself in a lot of trouble while he's trying to uh, promote his clients. Right, right. Okay. You know, and I watched the film last night, and you are really, really <laughs> good. I mean, you are a very, very talented actor. Surprise you? No, well, it, it does because, <laughs> like, I just know you as, you know, a, a club promoter. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I, you know, like I said in the intro, we're like friends for three, four years, and, you know, I, I kind of like, didn't know you were like so good. Did you take acting classes? I uh, went to uh, acting school for about three and a half years. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, SFT in, in New York. And um, that's like my first like feature that I was able to have a finally like a lead role. And um, I really appreciate it. Thanks, Butch. Yeah, really yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank absolutely, you. Definitely. Now, you know, like of all the things that you do, I mean, you know, I, I mentioned, you know, entrepreneur, businessman, club promoter, underwear model, like all these things. Like, what, what like, how, how did you start into this whole genre of? performing or like it, yeah. what was your first love when you were it, it was crazy basically I was in um, I was in Bryant Park and I was uh, a little uh, tipsy one one day for happy hour and somebody came up to me and uh, he was a he was an agent and he actually asked me he's like are you a model and I was like no I sell tires oh my god now this was this when you were a teenager yeah this, this, I was around yeah in my okay. younger yeah but but so then basically what ended up happening was uh, he uh, ended up get, uh, getting me to contact him. So we stayed in touch, had me come into the agency, uh, did some test shoots, and you know, next thing you know, I was uh, you know doing stuff for Tommy Hilfiger, Calvin Klein, wow. Wilkie Rodriguez, French. I mean, I, I, yeah. it, it just kind of really burst it out, which was like amazing, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. And it opened my eyes into a whole different world because like I right. never thought like you know I'd be able to be doing that or or anything of that sort. Right, and uh, right. I was really blessed and happy about it. Um, and it went from there. Right. But you were al you were already in incredibly good shape because you used to be a uh, uh, body was a, Yeah, I was, builder, a, yeah, right? I was, a, I was an amateur teen teenage bodybuilder. I was right. Mr. Teen New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which qualified me for the United States Nationals. Wow. And um, so it, it kind of helped out helped a lot. Out. Right, it helped right, out a lot. Right. Okay. So then how did modeling, you know, parlay itself into acting and, you know, being a club promoter? Like I got, I got bit, you know, after, after modeling was, you know, I kind of felt like I need, I, I wanted to go further and do other stuff. And, and I, some of my friends were doing commercials like Ben and everyone. And I was like, right. you know, uh, let, let's, let's see what's going on. I got into, I enrolled in some classes, um, booked a couple commercials myself, did mm -hmm. some other things and um, started, started doing that. And while I was doing that, Going to school and auditioning and whatnot, um, I was always out and about in New York, and mm -hmm. 
you know, knew a lot of people who were doing parties and owned venues and so on and so forth. Right, and I right. kind of got roped into it. I just didn't think it would escalate into what it is now. Right. I, and not right. in a million years. Because it was funny in the beginning when it started happening. It was like a fun thing, getting my friends into the nightclubs right, and, right, right. you know, stuff like that. Um, having some drinks for free and, and whatnot. And then it started turning into like a business and then big events and PR and, you know, I mean, I've, I've done events in Los Angeles, Vegas, uh, uh, um, Sundance, right. Miami, yeah. e New York, Chicago, e everywhere. It was funny because in the beginning, my mom was so, uh, <laughs> she was not so <laughs> thrilled that, you know, yeah. what are you, you, you going to do? You're going you're gonna to throw parties and make yeah, a living? Yeah, that's going to be your life, yeah, right. Now right. she's actually pretty proud. Yeah, absolutely. About it, yeah. Wow. So you kind of just sort of put one foot in front of the other and sort of like fell into these It just things. happened. I mean, I worked really hard at it. Because yeah, oh, once yeah, I course. realized it was yeah. it was something that, you know, there's there are professional event planners and, you know, it is, you know, there is absolutely. more. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, it, yeah. It, it escalated from there and it turned out to be like really, really great and really lucrative and I'm really happy that I'm in the position that I'm in with it. Right, right. But now, you, you know, it seems like the when I talk to you, like you really are sort of like zeroed in on acting. It feels like you're... I, yeah. I went to school for it and I absolutely enjoyed it. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. my whole thing was... I'll audition and whatnot, but I, I need to, I want to make sure like my, I have something else going. Okay. And, and I knew like the event and the entrepreneurial stuff that I was doing with that, my own company, it would have kept me, you know, I would have been able to keep doing that. Right. If things didn't work out. Right. And, right. you know, through that though, it also aided me a lot because I was able to meet a lot of directors, do some of their events for their, uh, for their mm -hmm. parties, for right. movies, whatnot. And um, they ended up uh, giving me some chances, some roles, and uh, one of the one of the, these directors uh, actually took a big chance on me and cast me for the thing in the gentleman. And yeah. from there, it, it led into all these other new projects yeah. that are opening up, which um, I'm absolutely thrilled about. Yeah, yeah. Now, you know, I read on a blog or a website or whatever that you were saying there's some fairly famous people uh, that are doing cameos on, uh, you know, in, in on The Gentleman? Yeah, The Gentleman, yeah, okay. ge ge gentleman now, and also The Ferality. Yeah, yeah. Now, now knowing that this isn't going to air until like January 8th or whatever, can you break a story for Philly and tell me? As far as <laughs> like some names that are going to be in this, uh, Randy Jones from the Village People. Oh come on, he's already in it. Yeah. Gene, Gene Gene Michaels from uh, uh, Stick Michaels from the New York Yankees was a former Yankee. Oh okay. Uh, all right. Jim Burt played for the Giants. Oh all right. Um, sports figures, huh? All Ricky right. Aiello, Danny okay. Aiello's son. And they're son. playing themselves, like the sports people are playing. The sports themselves. people are playing themselves. Right, 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 right. In, in the movie Ferality, there's they have. Uh, it's basically all the top stars from like all these reality shows. Yeah. Um, and they end up. Uh, but fictitious reality shows. They're not real reality stars from. Yeah, they are. Oh, they are. They are. Oh, all right. They are. All right, well, quickly tell me what Fear Alley uh, is. Fear, all Alley, about. Fear Alley is a, com a comedy horror type film. Yeah. And basically, it's. Uh, well, they have all these reality stars. Oh, so they took real reality they stars. Took from real, real reality shows. stars. Actual real celebrity reality oh, okay. Okay. people. And okay. uh, they're in this film and they end up getting killed off. In the movie, is it a comedy or a thriller? It's a comedy. It's a horror thriller. Oh, it's a, a horror, horror comedy. comedy. <laughs> I got you. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, it's a horror right, comedy. Right. But uh, yes, yeah, so um, and they also have J uh, Joe Genesali. Genesali. Genesali from the, uh, the Sopranos. Gay dude, the, the dude who got uh, you know whacked on the Sopranos for uh, for being, being gay. gay. He's he's starring in <laughs> he's starring right, right, right. In, he's starring yeah. in the film. Yeah, with myself yeah. and David Wenzel and uh, Joe uh, Valenti's uh, uh, directing it. Very talented director. Um, and uh, you know we're 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 filming soon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you you don't know when it's slated to come out yet. Whatever. Like we're I mean, filming the, in November. It, oh, okay. Oh, all right. You you filmed it already in November. Yeah. <laughs> we filmed it already. <laughs> we filmed it already. Yeah. All right. Awesome. All right. Don't go away. More with Keith when we come right back. Yeah.